Hey, Don back uh, with uh, my Windows 7 system on the Dell 1525 laptop, and that's the end of the malware hunter scan. It's, it's a new uh, malware utility from Glare Utilities, malware tool, whatever you want to call it. Um, a little bit of history after seven scans, deleting all kinds of Trojans and stuff on this system. Uh, the last one was um, first one that came up clean. And the last scan before this was um, Kepersky or Kepersky. Um, so then I booted, went ahead and booted in the system. I hadn't booted in for about three scans or so um, since I kept finding stuff. And I didn't want it to spread, you know, more. Uh, I went ahead and actually installed. See, so this is not a good way to do it, you know. I just did it on a lark. Just uh, because I uh, I used it on my other Windows 7 system, and it's pretty cool what all it'll do, uh, the cleanup and the speed up and all this stuff that it'll do. But uh, and I, I you know whether or not it's a good, really good by uh, malware protector, I don't know because it's new. It uses uh, a Vira virus engine, and it doesn't conflict with a VAST, which is you know all right, so you can run them both. I like a VAST. Um, okay, it says nothing found. That many files scanned, nothing found. Uh, it took 21 minutes, 28 seconds. Log. Let's go to the log. Not seeing anything. No threat found, that's all. So it didn't. Uh, clear logs, copy logs, uh, update it. It just says. So basically, that was a virus scan. That's what they're calling it. Um, you know, a lot of the like malware bots and all them, they always call it malware scan. And used to, they didn't really scan for re regular viruses, but uh, a lot of them have kind of evolved to do it all. So this is kind of one of those. So finish. And uh, anyway, there's some of these, there's a bunch of tools in here under the speed up that are pretty good, worth getting into in the cleanup. And uh, so you'd get rid of. Uh, Fix up registry and obsolete software. I don't know what they, whether they had, what they call obsolete. I might not, but uh, I don't know. I don't think I've ran that because I usually just use the uh, cleanup and glare utilities. Uh, it's pretty good for just. Uh, oh yeah, the way my system's set up. I have it set up with the. Uh, a user I call I named admin that only one that has administrative privileges so that kind of slow down the uh, stop somebody from installing or, or um, you know software that might be risky without at least thinking about it you know uh, or stop programs from making changes on the system if it, you know if they're trying to do it from your regular user and then maybe uh, chances are they won't, it won't be able to do the changes because it regular user doesn't have administrative privileges. It's, it's the way uh, Linux systems are set up and it's cool. I like that. So anyway, one click, there's a, it's on one click maintenance and registry cleaner shortcuts, spire, it even has, a, see it's always had a spiral remover in it. Disk repair, tracks eraser, I usually do all those except for the tracks eraser and uh, startup manager usually doesn't take very long and then down there the number I, show, I mentioned that in the previous video it's software updates you click on that and it'll take you to their web page website that has direct links to download the updates the only thing is I have gotten one or two bad ones over the last I've used this for two or three years now and I have gotten one or two bad files you know one of us popped up one time and I was like what the heck and it's not I don't think it's their their uh, lack of let me see what this is. Firefox needs to be closed. Oh, I forgot I had it running. See if it'll close it. Yeah, it closed Firefox. So um, that ha can happen on any site. In the last, everybody knows in the last few years that everything in the world's been attacked. So uh, anyway, I use uh, an add-on. I can't think of the name of it right now. But anyway, I use a, a Firefox add-on that will scan every file before you download it. And what? So whatever browser you use, you you know if you do that, then you got another way to protect yourself. But you see, 19 problems found in the registry. You can click on that; and it'll show them. And uh, oddly, some of them keep coming back every time they 
straight. I don't know why. Uh, shortcut fixer, that'd be good because see, uh, at this point, if I was going to keep this system, I think I'm going to reformat it. It's been so messed up. But uh, my virus scanner's deleted many cam. Reset settings. I don't, didn't see, remember seeing the SD formatter, X Norbus, Manicam again, SD formatter, Manicam, Lily, USB creator, and X Norbus again. So all those links are no longer any good because those have been taken out. So, and then there's temporary files. It's just 189 megabytes. I generally keep that cleaned up. <coughs> so it's quick and easy. And uh, it'll definitely save, save you aggravation with. Uh, you know, a bunch of uh, startup links that don't work. See, there's some blank spaces in there now because they were on my desktop. <coughs> Didn't get that one though, did it? So, uh, and those programs were good programs. They got infected by some outside source. So, I've used them for years. So, uh, uh, I think I've gone into that, started to tell the story three times during these last couple of videos, but only clue I really have is oh well, I guess I kind of told it I uh, a few months ago I decided to start installing a bunch of webcam software that I had downloaded over the last two or three years and never tried out and some of them popped up with some adware with in you know, a vast and uh, vast antivirus and one or maybe two topped up with something bad and so I was like oh crap I hope it didn't get a chance to spread well uh, maybe that's probably it I guess they did spread, but it took them a long time because the system ran fine, no problems. I scanned it, you know, I scanned the whole thing. I did a I did a boot time scan, and I imagine I even did a rescue disk scan with one of the other, one of the Linux rescue disks. Can't remember which one, but uh, say did that's what the they've been called disks because they used to be CDs. But I was using my USB stick, and now I have my little Fat Thirty uh, Fat Thirty Two. My little I formatted it Fat Thirty Two so that I could do this. It's my oh, I just banged into that. It's my little, um, I think you can see it, it's, yeah, the camera can't focus between the two different light sources there, but uh, it's a little uh, SD card, 32 gig SD card that I formatted FAT32 and used Sardu to put several different, uh, you know, Linux virus scanning, just Linux distros and other th things, uh, boot, boot repair disk and all kinds of things on there. Uh, and I was kind of hoping I'd be able to leave them on there as qu as a quick tool to grab, but I'll probably be changing it soon to put Fedora 20. Fedora 24 is on there, and it wouldn't run, run, so I'll probably have to put it on there the way Fedora does it, and not use that Sardu or Yummy is the other one I use, uh, so that I can install my Fedora 24 on this. And I guess what I'll do, I'm, I'm pretty well sure I'll go ahead and uh, just start over, reformat it, I'll go into Gparted, I'll delete all the partitions, I'll, I'll do it from a live system, and then I'll uh, re install Windows 7, probably put all that on my little stick there, and my little uh, SD card, install that, and then and then I'll put Fedora on it, and install that, and then I'll have it back, all new, new and shiny. So, um, let's see how it's running, I, never, I still have my Let's see, CF. Yeah. I mean, you can use it, but there is no way that you can do much of anything. That's why I discovered I was trying to do something, and I heard that fan running real hard, and it rattles when it runs hard, too. And I got to looking in here in the system monitor, and that SVC host execute net services constantly using 49, 50% of both. CPUs, it's dual core, two gigahertz. Something's really wrong, and it, there is like I saw a list once of all the. I don't know how I, I don't know where I where I saw it, how I made it show it, but I got them all in a row. And uh, and other, there's twelve at least SCV host or S SVC host. Execute. There's 12 of them that are related, you know, similar names that all depend on each other. And this one is is waiting on another one to right click on there. Uh, analyze wait chain. And, oh, I killed it earlier and I haven't rebooted, so it's not waiting on that one anymore. But it's still there's another one that the 
similar name that it was waiting on, but it's not waiting on it, it's still doing that, so it would be way too, I mean, since I think it's caused by malware, and it would be silly to try to manually fix it, but, uh, Yeah, I don't remember how I made it do that, but uh, this is actually, it comes with Windows 7. It's a pretty good little uh, system monitor, really detailed. You see right there, you can see it's saying uh, 50 to 53 percent. It was going back and forth there. I thought 59 CPU usage, so no good whatsoever. So, um, I guess it's enough messing with this. That's, I guess this would be my plan. I can still use my Windows, and I have Fedora. I mean, my Fedora 21 system to watch TV and all that junk until I get around to doing it, and I'll probably do it fairly soon because I've been I've been enjoying using this uh, this laptop. All, uh, I'm, I'm, I usually just use it to watch TV before I go to bed, but now I've been using it to run uh, my phone Explorer to control my phone, where I can because these phones that I've got only have four inch screens. And, but I can, uh, that's how I set them up. Uh, I tried a couple others, but it turned out to be the one that worked the best because it uses USB. It, the refresh rate, it was too slow. It was just, couldn't really use it with TeamViewer or, uh, there's TeamViewer uh, client right there. Or, uh, that one was, uh, old, no, not Odroid. That's an operating system. That's an operating system. Uh, another one, can't think of the name of it. Something to do with Droid in the name. Anyway, it, it, it works in the web browser, and it actually worked well, but they only let you use like eight apps or something. Well, I need to control the whole phone, install, uninstall, do whatever I need to do. So this, uh, my phone explorer, wherever the icon went, uh, will do it all and work pretty well. You just have to set the phone in developer node and plug in the USB. You can actually, uh, do a, some things over Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, but that part you have to do over USB. But these other ones, like TeamViewer, it's running all the way out through the internet to their server, their, and then back to you, so no wonder it gets behind, you know. <coughs> Plus, who really wants your whole, everything you're doing on your phone going out to somebody's server and back, anyway. Same thing with that other one, that uh, something droid one. It was going through their server, too, so. But, uh, Okay, that was nothing to do with what I'm doing here. Okay, so uh, anyway, this is Dawn. And that's the end of the uh, scans. Trying to clean it up. It shows to be cleaned up, but it still ain't running right. So it's no use to me that way. Um, so I guess the reformat is in order here. It'll take some time, that's for sure. All these apps, there's a whole lot more on here. I, over time, I end up with a lot of apps. and um, I don't use them all that much, but, you know, when you want them, you need that one app, you want it. But, uh, so, uh, we'll be starting over soon then. Okay, it's done. Bye-bye.